My name is Josephine Connolly and I am a member of the House of Assembly. I'm the Deputy Speaker of the House and um, I am happy to be here this morning and to see what is exactly going on here and I think it's a good project because we would all like to know where our ancestors came from. There's so much history we, we have and I am thankful for the staff of the museum to come together and I'm also thankful for the outside help that's been given to us to carry out this project. some bumps in the roads <laughs> I said with you know people not being in their office or um, trying to get records that we thought we had but we didn't but um, all in all I think everything we've done so far has been really successful between the evening with the experts and then having the um, some of the um, government people show up um, the next day um, like the Honorable Joseph Josephine Conley, Honorable Derek Hall, Honorable Charlene Cartwright Robinson, and Honorable Portia Stubbs-Smith. Um, also, the other day we had the radio 
program that we did. What did you think about that? I think the whole trip has been amazing, and I think we've gotten a lot more accomplished than we actually thought, even though we did have some glitches, like you said. Um, I also appreciate the fact that we've had a great deal of community interest yes. in what we're doing, in particular with the slave records, which are absolutely vital to the history of the Turks and Caicos. I'm very pleased. I'm pleased with your staff, your volunteers, the effort everyone has put forth on this project. And we've only made a dent right. uh, in digitizing these, but it's the first step, I think, in creating something that will go further towards the National Archives. And again, without the United Kingdom, with the Endangered Archives project grant, none of this would have been possible. Exactly. So um, I can't say enough about this program, but I am grateful that we've had this opportunity to start such an amazing endeavor. And the fact, I mean, it is just the tip of the iceberg, but the fact that people will be able to get their records online, mm -hmm. I said, it is just so important. Um, instead of trying to go through, you know, Ancestry.com or Family Search or some place that they have to pay. This is absolutely incredible, and it sort of takes some of the responsibility, as if I can say that, off the museum to help people with Family Searches. We do our part, but it's also difficult because we just don't have the staff. And by having this grant from the British Library, this now we can direct people, and they can do their own searches in their own home which is something that's wonderful. It's more than what I can get from my family without, you know, searching, without um, paying somebody. Yeah, the so fact that the, the reason, one of the reasons that the Zemi Foundation decided to work with this grant and apply for this grant was because it's open access. The Endangered Archives program is completely open and free of charge to everyone, and I think that that's absolutely essential. Absolutely. It's been an honor. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're, we're waiting for phase two. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks again.